Hello and welcome to the Junos Pi Easy Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After successfully completing this learning byte, you will be able to install Junos Pi Easy and use Junos Pi Easy to connect to a Junos device and retrieve device facts. Let's start by learning what Junos Pi Easy is. Junos Pi Easy is a free Python library available from Juniper Networks that enables you to automate the management of Junos devices using Python. Extensive Junos knowledge or Junos CLI knowledge really is not required. A good way to learn Junos Pi Easy, uh, there's a free Junos Pi Easy developer's guide on Juniper's website. You can also download it in PDF format. It gave me, it was a good starting point for me to learn simple examples and, and use cases. I found it very helpful. The idea of Junos Pi Easy is that it can provide the same capabilities of the Junos CLI without needing to use the Junos CLI. I can use Python and Junos Pi Easy to remotely automate the management of a wider range of Junos platforms. Let's look at a Junos Pi Easy installation. This example installs Junos Pi Easy on a CentOS uh, workstation. In the examples, I'm using Python version 3. Junos Pi Easy will work with either Python 2 or Python 3. Uh, in this example, I'm using the Python PIP 3 utility because it's Python 3. Install Junos Easy NC. This is the name of the Python library that, that PIP will pull down out of the, the Python package index, and this installs Junos Pi Easy locally on this workstation. It can also be installed in a Python virtual environment, or it supports being installed as a Docker container if you prefer that, that option. There are some software prerequisites kind of based on the operating system that you're installing, you know, Junos Pi Easy on. Uh, so that's, I, I want to reference you back to the Junos Pi Easy developer's guide. It will list for the supported operating systems any prerequisite software. There were six or seven you know, uh, Unix pieces of software I had to install before I was able to run the pip3 command to install it. But it's very easy to do and very quick. And so this, is, this will get us Junos Pi Easy installed. And now I'm ready to leverage Junos Pi Easy to manage my Junos platforms. This is an example Python script that connects to a Junos device and will retrieve facts about the device and print them on the screen. So we'll be able to see the results of this Python script. So let's look at some of these components in the script. I'm gonna start focusing on the from statements, right? This is where we import, we use the, from, the Python from statement to import Python modules so we can use them. And the example here in our first line, it, this is the Junos Pi Easy library. And this is how it's identified in the Python interpreter or in a Python script. You'd say from this Junos Pi Easy library here, jnpr.junos, I want to import a device object. This represents a Junos device. Now I'm going to retrieve some facts and I want to print them on the screen. I don't have to use the, the Unix pretty print library to do that, but if I leverage this, if I import the pretty print library, the functionality of that, my output looks better. It's formatted a little better on my screen and it's easier for me to read. You don't have to use that. You can just use the standard Unix uh, uh, Python print library if you'd like. Now I'm going to declare a variable called dev. And when I say dev, I want to reference this device object that, that is, it represents a connection to this target host. So you can adjust the IP address here to match your environment and test this out. Now I want to use the device object open method. This is how I establish a connection to this target host. And then I want to retrieve the device facts. And I want to use pretty print to print those to my screen. So retrieve the device facts and then pretty print those to my screen. And then as a good citizen, I would like to close the connection. I don't want to leave that connection open the device. Genos Pi EZ by default will connect to this target device using secure shell and use netconf, right? That's a netconf over SSH connection. It can also connect to devices using a console connection or a telnet connection, but this is the default, a netconf over SSH connection. I'm also, when you connect to a Junos device, you have to authenticate before you can issue commands. You have to authenticate when you connect. And in this example, I'm going to use SSH keys to do that. I'm not going to be prompted for a username and password. That's what this automation stuff is all about, right? 
So I'm going to connect to a device now, and we'll look again at this script, and then we'll run it and see the output. And this is what you would see. In this case, I'm running, remember, Python 3. And so I, I have Python 3, and then I say the name of my script, and it just executes. I'm not prompted for a username and password. And this is the retrieved fax output. Let me connect to a device, and we'll look at the script, and I'll, I'll show you that now. Okay, here is my CentOS desktop where I have Juno's PyEasy installed. And let's first take a look. We'll use the cat utility to look at the hello world.python script again. The, the same script that we saw on the slide. So it's on, it, it, the script is built. Now let's run it. So python3 hello world.py, and, and, and that's it. I just referenced the script, and here is my device fax output. And so here's the, the script we ran, and, and then you see the output. So this is just an example. Uh, I didn't have to manually connect. I didn't have to issue any Juno's commands. This is the equivalent of a Juno show version command, if, you're, if you know much about or have any experience with the, with the Juno CLI. In this example, I pulled that same information using a Python script, leveraging the Juno's PyEZ library. In this learning byte, we installed Juno's PyEZ, and we used a simple Python script to connect to a Juno's device and retrieve device facts. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology-specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.